Hi, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. We are learning science through poetry with the poem, Happy Owl. We're gonna learn a few interesting facts about owls, so here we go. Hello, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. It's time for another edition of Learning Through Poetry. And today we're going to be learning some science through poetry. So here's a poem I've written for you to help you know some facts about owls. They are so very interesting. All right, you never know when the weather might catch you off guard, so I have my trusty umbrella and I'll be using it to help me point. Happy Owl by Ms. Sullivan. See my eyes, they don't move, so my head turns all around. It's true, owls' eyes are locked in place, only forward facing. This helps them have excellent vision, but it also means if they want to see something to the side, they can't do their eyes like we can. They have to move their whole head and they can move their whole head almost all the way around on each side so they can see everything they need to see. They can even do their head like upside down like that. All right. See my eyes, they don't move. So my head turns all around. I flap, flap, flap my wings, but they don't make a sound. And that's true, owl's wings are very, very soft on the edge, so soft that the air doesn't, when they go against the air, they're silent flyers, which is really great for sneaking up on prey. These are talons, they are not claws. Now let's hear some loud applause. H, A, P, P, Y. Happy Owl, that's me. Who, who, who am I? Who, who, who am I? Who, who, who am I? Happy Owl, that's me. So that last part that gives us some science information talks about talons. Talons are what make all raptors able to catch their prey. Raptors are birds that are going to fly through the sky and reach down and grab something and pick it up. Owls and eagles and hawks are all raptors. You might recognize the name from a dinosaur called Velociraptor. A raptor has, now it's hard to show because I'm not a raptor, but they have the ability to have two on this side and two on this side to make a pinching. If they were like most birds and they just have their, their feet like this and they curl around, that's going to be very hard to pick something up without dropping it. But they have talons. I'm just going to show with three. And they can pinch and grab. And that's going to help them to pick up their prey. Now, it's true. They do usually have very long, sharp claws at the end of their talons. But the science word we're wanting to learn today is talons. Talons are what raptors use to grab and catch their prey while they're flying. Here's a couple other owl facts for you. Owls have very, very large eyes. That lets in a lot more light when they're flying around at night. Also, all the feathers around their eyes lay back flat. So there's nothing like covering up or getting in the way to make it dark. An owl's beak points quite down, not out, but down. Well, this is really helpful if you're going to be carrying some prey in your mouth. You don't want to be holding it like this and having it block your vision. You want to hold it down out of your way. So when you're flying, you can see where you're going. Also, of course, they might hold it in their talons, but this gives them some more choices. So their eyes don't move. They're locked in place for spectacular binocular vision. Their wings silent because of the very soft edge. Talons to grab their prey. So these are some of our big science ideas in our poem, Happy Owl. So I'm gonna see if we can make that. Well, it's a little saggy. We'll just have to know what the title says in our brain. Happy Owl by Ms. Sullivan. See my eyes, they don't move. So my head turns all around. I flap, flap, flap my wings but they don't make a sound. These are talons, they are not claws. 
Now let's hear some loud applause. H A P P Y, happy owl, that's me. Who, who, who am I? Who, who, who am I? Who, who, who am I? Happy owl, that's me. So thank you for joining me for learning science through poetry. And thanks for watching. Learn with me. Mrs. Sullivan.